Sunday, May 18th, my boss called and said, hey, St. Helens has gone off. We've chartered a small plane for you. Go over and see. So we jumped on a plane, a little Cessna, and flew over there. And it was a huge cloud, and we had to fly around it. Uh, we couldn't go over it, and we didn't want to go through it. So we went around it and came in from the southwest. And as soon as you got close, it was just, oh, my goodness, what a huge cloud of just junk coming out of the top of that crater, ash and smoke and gas. It was coming out in these huge waves and bubbles. And it was just, as far as you could see, left or right, up or down, it was stunning. And uh, to the point where I had to force myself to remember, oh, that's right, I'm a photographer. i got to make some pictures. So uh, we did that and landed, called back in. They said stay, and I gave the film to the pilot, and the pilot tried to get back to Spokane, but uh, could only make it as far as Lewiston. So he landed in Lewiston. We called the paper down there. They transmitted a picture back up to us. As far as I know, that's that picture is the biggest picture that's ever run on the front page of the Spokesman Review. And 40 years of doing this job, I don't keep much of my stuff hanging on the wall, but that's one I framed and kept. That's a, that's a memory. This is Christopher Anderson for Spokesman.com.